My name is Christian, and this is my language portrait. I come from Canada, China, and Ghana. I can't speak Greek, but I, I can speak Chinese and, can, and English. Um, Chine, in Chinese, hello is ni hao. Okay. I speak to my parents in, in Chinese, and um, I, I can write in Chinese and English. It's Mother Tongue Week and we are reflecting on the languages that we know and the languages that we are learning in school and how they impact our identity and the way we understand the world. So we are currently making a language portrait and we are representing different languages with colors to show how they've impacted us and who we are. This fabric is supposed to represent Kinti and the background is orange and orange represents tree and I speak tree, it's my mother tongue and I feel like that makes up the background of my identity. So Chi is my medium to understand my culture and the world that I live in. And then there are red diamonds. Red represents English. And that's because even though Chi is the background of everything, I still feel like English has altered the way I perceive my world. And I'm not done yet, but this afro is supposed to be colored in red. And that's because even though Chi is my mother tongue, I still think in English. I still perceive the world in English. So then I think that makes up how I think, sort of. And then the blue diamonds are Ga. Ga is also another language that I used to connect with people who don't speak Chi. I used to connect with other family members and listen to traditional music. It also impacts my understanding of Ghana. And one language that I'm learning in school is French. And although French is not my mother tongue, I think it has given me a gateway to understand what goes on in other countries. Like in class, we learn about Senegal and Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso. And I think language is a big part of culture. So by learning French, I'm learning about what happens in all the other countries. My name is Sage. Um, I speak English with my family and friends. Um, je peux un peu français with my teachers and I want to learn Korean. Hello, my name is Ali and this is my language portrait. It has the Lebanon flag on it and the Sierra Leonean flag because I am Lebanese and I mostly speak Arabic at home. But I'm also, my mom is also Sierra Leonean. So I'm also half Sierra Leonean. My name is Tulawani. This is my language portrait. Um, I speak, um, write and think English and I speak it almost all the time. I speak a little bit of Spanish and I, I also speak a, a little of Pigeon English. I speak and write French with my teachers and my parents and Yoruba is most dear to me so, and I greet others in Yoruba and good morning in Yoruba is a carol. All right, so my name is Victor, and my language portrait uh, has a variety of different colors to represent the different languages that have had the most influence in my life. So first up, with the most dominant color being black, this represents English, because um, when I was growing up, I was raised in a household that spoke mainly English. And I chose red, which is in the middle at the heart, because that represents Mkole, which is the language of Uganda. Both my parents speak in Kole, so on both sides of the, fa of the family, it's, it has a very strong influence in my life. And when I go home and if I speak to my cousins or even like if I speak to my aunt, I throw in a bit of Nkole just like for their comfort and also like so that I remember that it, this is the language of my home and like I remember that it's a part of me. I chose blue to represent French because French is a language that I've been learning for a long time, about 12 years. And so I put it on the sleeves to show that like, it's a language that I have acquired. And for the last color, I chose green because that's uh, Shona. Shona is uh, the most common language spoken in Zimbabwe. And I lived in Zimbabwe for about nine years. And that's why I chose to put it on the pants. Hello, my name is Tamari. And I'm showing you my language portrait. I put Israel here because I'm from Israel originally. I put Romania because my grandparents are Romanian. And I also put Czech Republic because I lived there for three years and I speak a bit of Czech. And then I put the USA flag because I speak English most of the time and I speak English and Hebrew at home. 
Hi, my name is Anton and this is my language portrait and I chose my head to be German because I think in German and I speak to my parents in German and my heart is French because I would le I'm learning French and my hand is English because I write in English mostly and it's the easiest. Right now I'm doing a language portrait which shows all of the languages that I speak and all the cultures that I associate myself with. Um, this is what I have so far. Here I've made, um, I've constructed a heart out of some paper collaging um, and to me the, all these colors represent different parts of my identity, my the languages that I speak and the cultures that I associate myself with. Um, the red is representative of my Danish nationality um, and the green of my Irish nationality. Um, and then I've ha I have a bit of purple on the heart as well, which to me represents English language because that is um, the language that kind of strings together all of the cultures that I associate myself with, with and all the people that I know and love. Um, and I've decided to put all of these colors in this heart because to me, I don't just associate with one culture or one language. All of them intertwine to build the identity that I have. So when I was younger, um, I moved to Kazakhstan for a couple years and there I learned um, to speak a bit of Russian, um, both to communicate with my peers and also to, to learn and study. Um, but since then I've forgotten some of it, but I still think that it's a really important part of my identity. My name is JJ, this is my language portrait, and the flags are Ghana and Kenya. Where I come from is Ghana and Kenya. The, both of the languages are Swahili and Tri, and the way you say hello in Tri is Mache, and the way you say hello in Swahili is Jambo. I love my artwork and I enjoyed painting it, and I hope you enjoy looking at my artwork. Hello, um, so this is my language portrait um, and basically what she's wearing is a traditional abaya with a tarbush and a green hijab um, <clears throat> and basically I chose um, Arabic to be the predominant color um, because Arabic is my mother tongue and I consider it to be the most important language out of all of the languages that I know. Um, and. Yeah, and then for the next color, I chose English um, because English, technically I learned English and Arabic at the, first, at, at the same time. And um, I speak English with my friends at school and with my teachers. Um, so I think of it still quite important. And <clears throat> I chose French as my smallest color because um, I don't speak it with as much fluency as the other languages, but I still think that it's um, important to learn. My name is Jimmy, and this is my language portrait. And then I drew the flag of China on my language portrait because I'm Chinese, and also my siblings, my parents, my, my grandparents are all Chinese. And then mostly I speak Mandarin in home, and that's why I drew this flag of China. So I'm making uh, this language portrait, which is a representation of who I am with regards to languages. And so I decided to represent uh, some, uh, all the languages that are a part of me as different colors. And um, so we, ha we see a large part of it is blue, and blue in this case represents English. And I decided to place them strategically uh, so that blue is in my head because I do a lot of my thinking in English and also in my feet because I plan to get to some places in the world primarily with English and uh, second to that the most uh, primary color is red which represents my mother tongue that is Mandarin and uh, I can speak and write and read uh, and listen to Mandarin which is why it's throughout my body and although it doesn't form as a large part of the head as English because I don't think as much in Mandarin as I do in English it still forms uh, a large part of who I am which is why it covers more of the body than uh, the head uh, and then after that we have French uh, in green which is my primary uh, language which I acquired in school and so that's why it also 
doesn't form a large part of how I think, but it is a part of who I am. And as a result, I've been able to understand more of the Francophone culture, uh, etc. And then also in that regard, we have German, which is not a language so much that I speak, but a lot that a lot of my friends speak. And uh, because they are my friends, I've learned to uh, ingrain that also into who I am. And then lastly, uh, we have small shades of pink, which represent Russian, uh, because I have long after I studied started studying music, the Russian culture and the Russian music uh, culture has been uh, a large uh, culture which I admire a lot and I really like uh, a lot of the pieces and a lot of the compositions from the Russian culture and as a result of that I've come to, under, uh, come to be exposed to a lot of the Russian language and uh, yeah that's also in this portrait as well. So that's uh, basically a representation of who I am with regards to languages.